Now, often images will need a bit of a sharpen to them. They might come off um, slightly unfocused or... Uh, now, this is not including images that are completely out of focus. I'm just meaning images that just need a little, little sharpen. Um, and most images do, even straight off the camera where they've been shot professionally, they'll, they'll still need a bit of a sharpen to them. And if they're being printed, they'll need a slightly more of a sharpen um, than they would if they're going to be used online or for other, other um, media outlets. But uh, this image here, I'm just going to show you, uh, I've just used a technique to sharpen it. Now, there's lots of different ways to sharpen, and this is a very basic high-pass uh, high technique. Um, that I want to show you and you can see this is the result. That's the after and that's the before After before okay, let's can that get rid of that now um, Now the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. So press command J I'll just zoom out slightly as well Okay, and I'm just going to rename this layer sharpened All right now if you come to the filter menu Scroll down to Sharpen, you'll see you've got Sharpen, Sharpen Edges, Sharpen More, Smart Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. You've got all those options. Don't worry about any of them for now. Come into the Blending Mode options. So we've got our layer selected, so make sure it's sort of blue across there. We've got our layer selected, and then you can scroll down to Overlay or Soft Light. Either one of those. Soft Light's a little bit um, less kind of punch in in your face then overlay um, it's up to you that's that's we use overlay just for the fun of it so we can see it in a bit more um, why don't we call this one overlay and then we'll do it see the difference then between uh, overlay and soft light then we come up to filter scroll down to other and then select high pass now with high pass selected um, first of all scroll your radius right down to 0 0.1 and then what I want to do is you can use your up arrow on your keyboard just to tap it up. Okay. Until you're happy. So we can have a look at our... Um, oh yeah, it's not quite... Okay. You can go right up. 187 pixels there. Okay, bring it down a bit. Okay, and it depends on how subtle you want it to be. You can go a little bit more aggressive here, and then you can tone it back after. So let's say I do 23 pixels, click on OK, and then I think, oh, that's a little bit too much. All I have to do is reduce the opacity. So just drag the opacity down a bit here, and that will just reduce the intensity of the uh, filter that we've applied there. So that's our before, and you can just see it kind of looks a little bit almost smoky or dusty across her face, and then click after. So we just click on the eyeball there to show before and after. And look at her jumper here, or sweater, or whatever you want to call it. You can see there's much more detail being brought out using this high pass technique. Okay, so let's do one more, and this time we'll do a soft light one. So we'll just call this sharp, sharpened. Soft light, just so you can compare the two. So we'll change that to soft light. So that's our blending mode while that layer is selected. Filter, uh, other, high pass. Okay, and we'll just click on OK. So we've actually got the same amount of pixels there. All right, so that's before, that's after. Okay, and that's overlay before, sorry, after, before, after, before, for soft light. Up to you, you choose. Um, it's just one technique. Someone wrote in and asked about doing a high pass sharpening technique. One thing that you can also do is watch the videos on creating your own actions. And if you've got a lot of photos that are the same size off the camera, so they're the same resolution, meaning that you might have your camera set to um, fine or whatever it is, so they're all coming out the same uh, dimensions, how many pixels wide by how many pixels high, then you can create an action for this, and you can run your sharpening action over all your photos. 
You'd normally use the sharpening technique though right at the end of any editing. So you might have it as an action. You do any other kind of editing of corrections and then right at the very end just run your sharpen action. That's it. That's uh, as simple as it is. I hope you've enjoyed this video and of course have a fantastic day and see you on the next one.